Hey guys, Dr. Shook here. I want to just talk briefly about something, um, a definition, really. It's kind of a definition, but it's important that you understand this. So I want to talk about um, what is considered as uh, subclinical hypothyroidism. Okay, so there's actually, that's a diagnosis. So subclinical hypothyroidism is when you have elevated TSH, but your T4 and T3, which are the thyroid hormones, are within a normal range, right? So, so they can be in the lab, within the lab range, which is a huge range, which may not be ideal. But, but that's one of the diagnoses that you can get. You go in, you have all the hypothyroid symptoms, you get your blood work done. If they do T3 and T4, they will check TSH. If TSH is elevated, but typically here's the deal. Um, well, let me just finish this first. If it's elevated, but your T3, T4 is normal, that's going to be subclinical hypothyroidism. And in most cases, that's not going to be medicated. They want to wait until the TSH either gets above 10 or until your T4 and T3 are low. And what I'm going to tell you is that this is oftentimes a sign that there's other dysfunction, okay, that you'll, a lot of times if we were to order antibodies, we'd find that the person may have um, Hashimoto's. And really there are some doctors um, that that may consider actually prescribing below 10, but but I believe a lot of the guidelines are say that, you know, if the T3, T4 is normal, don't medicate unless it's above 10, the TSH is above 10. And I'm just going to tell you there's usually a lot of other problems that are contributing to uh, the dysfunction that you see there, and Hashimoto's is going to be the number one. So, and it could be um, a lot of different factors influencing that. You got to remember when you when you look at these thyroid hormones, it's a snapshot in time, right? It's not like it's not you, those are not going to be your thyroid hormone levels if you get them done in the morning, in the afternoon, and so it's a snapshot in time. And you can't make you know absolutes and and speak in absolutes with these numbers when you only when you're looking at a snapshot in time. You're like you know, I mean, there's certain things that you can determine, but at the same time, they fluctuate, right? So there's, you've got to keep that concept in mind anyway. So anyway, I just want to talk to you guys about subclinical hypothyroidism. TSH gets high, but the T4, T3 are normal. Most doctors will not medicate until it's above 10. You need to be concerned about Hashimoto's and other things that, that could be driving your signs and symptoms and, um, and really look at your thyroid hormone physiology more in more depth and detail. Okay. So that's what one of the things that we do in our office is we always order nine thyroid related markers, seven hormones, two antibodies, and then we get inflammatory markers, red blood cells, blood sugar, electrolytes, um, liver enzymes, iron markers, lipids, um, vitamin D. Uh, we get, um, there's other stuff too, your analysis. We get all kinds of stuff that that's more expanded. So we can look at the overall physiology and say, what is happening with this person and not just with their thyroid? Do they have foundational chemical, biochemical issues with their chemistry that's where they're in this, um, this phase where they, that may be contributing to what's happening with them? Those are the things you want to consider. Um, if, uh, if you have questions, you know, I created, I, one of the things that I did, I created a guidebook, that's the nine tests required to understand your thyroid. And if you want to get that, that will go into the specific nine related specific um, thyroid hormone markers that, that um, we I think are really important to look at, especially at least the first time that you're working with someone. And um, it will walk you through kind of what they mean, some of the ranges that we use, what they might, the, the interpretations might suggest, give you give you a lot more information and, and an idea of where to start, okay? So anyway, I'm Dr. Shook. I appreciate you guys coming here to learn more about your health. I hope this has been helpful on explaining this definition of subclinical hypothyroidism. If you have any questions, let us know, post them below, or just reach out to us and we'll do everything we can to help you, okay? I appreciate you guys. Hope you have a wonderful day.